Hi, my name is Siavash Irani. I'm a senior solutions architect with the AWS team. And in this video, I'll show you how you can build an up-to-date golden Windows AMI using AWS Systems Manager automation. Let's go through it together. We are going to cover what are the tasks for updating golden images, what is AWS Systems Manager automation, and at the end, we will have a demo on how this is done. So what are the tasks for updating golden images? Let's say we have an outdated AMI and we want to get to an up-to-date AMI. We need to first launch an instance, update AWS components, update the operating system, update any other third-party applications. At the end, uh, we may want to do a sysprep and then create a new AMI. Of course, we also need to clean up and remove the instance that we created for this process. All of these tasks can be done automatically using AWS Systems Manager automation. With AWS Systems Manager Automation, you can express your workflow as automation steps in a JSON-based format document. Also, it supports for run command, a Lambda functions, and also AWS APIs. The other advantage of using AWS Systems Manager Automation is that it's, it's scalable. And if you, for example, you want to make multiple armies, uh, you can uh, use uh, AWS Systems Manager Automation for that purpose as well. With that, let's get to the demo section. Okay, so first to use automation, we need to create uh, two IAM roles. One is for the automation service itself, and the other one is for uh, basically an instance profile, so it allows the instance to take action. Now, there's two ways to create uh, this I these IAM roles, and uh, one is using AWS CloudFormation, which is already a CloudFormation template, which does all of it automatically for us, or I can also do it manually. In this case, I'm going to just use uh, this CloudFormation. So from the AWS documentation here, I'm going to click on Launch Stack. And what's going to do, it will open my CloudFormation console, which is pointing to this YAML file, which has that uh, template. And then I click Next, I'm gonna leave the stack name as default, leave everything else default here. I acknowledge, there's no parameter here, and I hit uh, create. So it's gonna uh, create those roles. Okay, now the cloud formation template is complete, and let's take a look to see what it did. If I click on the event, events for this, you can see that basically it did two things. One was creating an automation service role, and also it created an IAM role and an instance profile from that IAM role for the EC2 instance. Now the environment is ready uh, for the automation service. So next thing I need to do is from services, I'm going to click on systems manager and click on automation. And then I click on execute automation. I choose document with a name prefix as AWS-Update. And I'm gonna choose AWS-Update Windows Army here. And let's take a look at parameters that it requires. So this source Army ID is basically my old uh, Army uh, that I want to up update it. I'm gonna leave the IAM instance profile name as is. Uh, this is the one that was created using CloudFormation and also automation service role is exactly the same name that was created using the CloudFormation stack. This is the um, target AMI name and uh, instance type. In this case, I'm gonna just choose T2 Medium. Uh, of course, you can change this. This is for the temporary instance that is launched during this process. And uh, all these others are optional. Subnet ID, uh, you can specify a specific subnet. And in here, you can choose uh, between different KBs uh, that uh, needs to be excluded or included um, during Microsoft Windows update. And also you can specify categories and security levels for, for those updates. And there are two other things here. Um, one is pre-update script and post-update script. Basically, I can put any command uh, to run before uh, Windows update runs. Uh, to run on that temporary instance. For example, I can use this to update any third-party applications before or after Windows Update, or if there is any specific configuration that I want to apply to my instance. With that, uh, I'm going to just uh, click on Execute Automation, and let's take a, a, 
a quick look on the tasks that it's going to do. It's going to launch the instance, it's going to check the OS compatibility, making sure it's uh, Windows. And then it's going to run the pre-update script. Uh, in this case, I left it blank. It's going to update all those agents, uh, like EC2 config, EC2 launch, SSM agent, PV drivers, ENA drivers, and NVMe. And uh, the, this part is going to install Windows updates. It runs the post-update script. And then it's going to sysprep the OS, stop it, create the image, and then terminate the instance. So because this process is going to take a while, um, I have actually a finished version of this, uh, which we are going to take a look and see how it looks. Like uh, this one. Basically what you, was, you should see is uh, all these commands should be done. And the output that you're, you will be getting is the army ID of the uh, uh, army that it has complete uh, up-to-date components. All right, now you should be able to build an up-to-date Golden Windows AMI using AWS Systems Manager automation. Thanks for watching.